Casta Semenya is South Africa's golden girl. The 25-year-old has been shrouded in controversy for the last seven years and is often the subject of much debate. But on her return to South Africa, she was welcomed with open arms and effectively stole the show from her fellow medal winners. Her coach, Jean Verstaar, says the negativity did not affect Semenya at all in Rio. If people want to focus on negative stuff, it's their problem, not ours. So we love what we're doing, and she loves her running. And um, if you run with the right heart and you know the right passion, you'll always do well. The talented athlete has seen overwhelming attention from the world's media throughout the year. And at the Africa Senior Championships in Durban, she was the focus for most of the journalists who pestered her with a barrage of personal questions. But Semenya rose to the occasion and once again delivered on the track. This is a new caster that we've seen. I think a couple of years ago it affected her badly. I think she's just come out here and she's decided whatever you want to say, say it. That's not going to bother me. I'm going to do my talking on the track. I'm going to go out and enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy athletics. And that's where she's releasing all her stress and her frustrations is on the track. I think she's opening up and she's going, well, South Africa loves me. Africa loves me. I actually don't care what the rest of the world thinks. The girl from Polokwane not only has the backing of South Africa, but also of Africa despite what lies ahead in six months' time, as the IAAF prepares more evidence to challenge the Court of Arbitration for sports ruling. Do you know what? I don't think the IAAF will go there. Um, I think they've got to look at what, what the controversies are, uh, see how they handle that. If they go and do that, I think Africa itself will sort of rebel back against the IAAF because it's we cast as one of ours. And I think that will be the big thing that the IAAF have to look at. Casta Semenya has shrugged off the controversies that have haunted her since her breakthrough performance back in 2009. The Olympic 800 meter champion has matured into a confident and media savvy athlete who's not phased by the reports or the comments of fellow competitors. The big question is what is next for the Northwest University students? At the end of the day, with all that has been said about her testosterone levels and hyperandrogenism, it would be unfair for the IAAF to set a precedent that prevents her from competing just because of the way she was born. CS Duplessis, CCTV, Johannesburg.